So here's what we're going to do. Build Vicky and Justine an 8x8 two-tier floating dock with enough stability to safely hold a heavy diving board and the weight of a diver without any fear of tipping. We want Justine to be able to do the perfect dive. Typically a diving board you know, is, is in concrete, but in this case we uh, had to improvise and put it on a floating raft since we're at the cottage. As long as it's solid and stable, uh, she'd be good. Okay, let's go. So Kev, on this one here, we're still gonna build it uh, the same as we do all our, our docks, mm -hmm. just the regular miters. Miter guts, okay. Mitering is uh, basically putting a, an angle, a 45 on the corners. What it does is finishes off the corner, so it just, it's a, a aesthetically pleasing. It's, it's more for the design aspect. We're working hard to make sure this specialized dock will be perfect. Strength and stability are crucial. There's no way we're giving Justine a diving dock that will tip when she jumps off. So we have the carriage bolts coming up through. So this is the, the strength. We really need strength. When you're diving and jumping, there's a lot of pressure there. So what we have is these carry bolts are coming through. It's anchored in, there's big washers on it. We cut it, this is now the decking. We cut it, now we're gonna slide it through like that. And uh, that's it. That's where it's gonna be anchored to. All right, Kev, pass her up. Okay, that. A little to the left, a bit more. I mean, uh, ladder left. Oh, sorry, the other way. No, you got it? Let's hold that for a minute. Okay, I mean, pull it back a bit more. Sorry, I just wanna check on. Which way? Oh, that way. I just wanna see something. <laughs> Could you dive off that? No, you might though. <laughs> So let's take this off and then uh, we'll float it over to Vicky's. Yeah. Kids will be excited. Now go straight out that way because I'm going to turn the whole thing around. Yes. With this dive dock, we're going to have four anchors, 400 pound anchors. That's double the anchor weight typically for this size of dock. And because Justine's going to be diving, we're going to have to somehow, we're going to suck down the raft at the back end. So maybe put a bit of an angle. So when she puts pressure on the front, it's not going to go down as much because the anchors at the back will holding it down. So that's in theory will work. <laughs> but soon I see my theory was wrong. Now do we need to be parallel? Oh, see this moved a bit, eh? Yeah. The raft is moving too much even with two of the weights already in the water. So we have a change of plans. The weights aren't heavy enough, so we're gonna put four in the back. There's gonna be 400 pounds on the one end, and we're not even gonna worry about the front. So that change of plans. Where the anchors go down is a key to this project, uh, to make it stable. Solid. It's no give. So anchoring at the back was the way to go. Putting anchors front is not even necessary. So you gotta have lots of weight in the back to keep it up on the angle. So when you jump, it doesn't go into the water. Simple. What do you think? <laughs> so excited for him. Justine wastes no time taking it for a spin. Vicky's project, we, uh, we had to think a little bit on it. We had to make sure it was uh, going to be stable, strong, uh, anchored properly. There's a lot of factors. Justine finally has a place to dive, to practice, before they're going back and forth to the city. And now they can stay up and, and be in cottage country and, and train during the summer. With our benches complete, we're ready to install the sauna. So it's a seven by eight, and uh, it's eight feet long, seven feet in diameter. It's gonna be beautiful. 